Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, coming to you today with a subscription box video. And this goes out to all of you who signed up for the escape room spy themed subscription box. Now this one's kind of tricky because obviously I cannot give you the answers that would be giving it away, but I can kind of walk you through what you've got in your box and I'll give you a couple of hints about how to go through it. So the first thing is your locked bag. This is what the whole box is about, trying to help you find your three digit combination code so you can get in here. This is where your snacks are in case you were wondering. You have another bag that has a puzzle inside of it and get ready for hint number one. Start out with the puzzle. You'll notice pretty quickly it's a two-sided puzzle, so don't forget to look at both sides. Look at both sides, look at both sides with what, you might ask. Well, you happen to have gotten a handy dandy black light, so I would suggest taking a look at both sides with that. Now, you have a couple of envelopes inside your box, and if you look closely, you'll notice that not only is the paper different on each one, but there may be something that lets you know which one to open first, how to figure that out. Well, we have a couple other code spy devices. You've got a Braille alphabet and a Morse code alphabet. And this is what's called a cipher wheel. I've already written in the letter A on the outside circle of this. And you can probably guess that the rest of the alphabet is gonna go around that outside circle. And on the inside circle, some type of numbering system. There are clues in other parts of your box that will let you know what to put in for the numbers. And these will turn. So once your escape room box is all finished and you have unlocked your code, and gotten your snacks. Uh, you can write codes to your friends, to your family, using Braille, Morse code, your cipher wheel. Now, if you have any questions or kind of get stumped by part of your escape room box, don't be afraid to text us at the number that you signed up for the box with. You can also call the library and ask to talk to me and I'll do my best to help you out or if you have a mask, you can come on down to the library and I will do my best to help you out. I hope you'll enjoy what you've got inside your escape room box. And if you like it so much that you wanna sign up for December, I included a form for that as well. Same deal, you can sign up for one of four new crafts. Um, instead of a book, it'll be a personalized sticker this time and as always, a snack. You can bring those back to me at the library, drop them off at the front desk or the drive through or you can text us a picture of it. Hope you guys are having happy holidays. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.